Hey there guys, Dotsa here, and today I'll be talking about three things I really wish I knew when I began as an artist. The first one is to actually have as little emotional connection to your work as you possibly can, and let me explain this. If you're working on a piece that's falling apart or just isn't working, if you have an emotional connection with it, you're still probably going to try to find ways to make it work or finish it or even display it in your portfolio. And I found personally that cutting your losses is usually better because you can spend that extra time on a better piece or a piece that would end up working out. Another big thing to consider here is that if you have an emotional connection with your artwork, you tend to go outside of your comfort zone less, you tend to experiment less, and overall that means you learn less. The second thing is actually looking up reference before you draw. Let's say you want to draw an airplane. Now, you may have a general idea in your mind what an actual airplane looks like, and that's all fine and dandy, but by designing with these just general thoughts in mind, you're not going to design anything that's too in-depth or too interesting. On the other hand, if you went outside of your comfort zone and you googled some pictures of airplanes, then all of a sudden you have this whole flood of new ideas and new designs and new shapes and you can make a much better airplane and even design your own airplanes. And for all those haters out there that are saying it's cheating or unfair, you need to understand that if you don't do it, some other artist will and he'll get that job or that commission or whatever makes him money. And all you'll have in return are some basic airplanes and some spiky landscapes probably. And finally, drumroll please, the third one. And that is to make every piece you work on at least somewhat interesting to you. Look, I get it, you start getting client work, maybe you start doing art that you're not so interested in, or maybe you just start finding art boring on whatever you're drawing. The big issue here is that it actually shows through your work. This is something I actually heard through Sparta Scum Road, where he talked about how it'll show through your work if you don't really care about the piece, whether it be through being a little bit lazy with it, or not finishing it, or anything else of the sort. The easiest thing to do here is to actually change up your process. Maybe do a few photo editions, maybe only use a few brushes, maybe only use one layer. It could be anything you want to do just to change it up and challenge yourself. And also another way to challenge yourself in this field is to actually make something or draw something within the piece that's outside of your comfort zone. So if you're bad at waterfalls for instance, you could draw a guy peeing in the scene so you can get your water skills down or something else of the sort. Or better yet, you can make the whole scene with the guy with only a round brush. Which is actually what this painting in the background is. It's actually a round brush challenge where I challenged myself to make two different scenes with only the round brush, which I actually did cheat a little bit. I did use the soft brush a few times and I did give the round brush a slight tilt just for edge control. One thing I'd like to mention is that to me, honestly, it does matter what kind of brushes you do use only because using different brushes will get you different results. If I drew a spaceship, for instance, that was solely based on the round brush versus a spaceship that was solely based on a calligraphy brush, they would look totally different. Now, both spaceships will probably look pretty okay relative to each other, although the results will probably be very different just based on how the brush deals with edge control, how the brush is textured, and how the brush moves within the canvas while you're drawing. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I would really like to hear your thoughts on one thing that you kind of changed about yourself or one thing that you wish you knew when you started out doing art. Next week, I'll be diving into actually catching up when you feel behind of other artists, maybe you feel you're older than artists that are better than you, stuff like that. I'll be diving into that and telling you all about it. This has been Datsa. Until next time, and remember that nothing awesome happens inside of your comfort zone.